everybody. Welcome to Honeybee Fluid Art. Today I'm going to be working with these bubble coasters. I've seen people use them with like the resin Crete and um, I'm going to work with them today using glitter chip equilibrium. It's a beautiful kind of like mermaidy um, color. I'm going to put that just around the edge on each one, the edges and the little bubbles. And then I'm, in the center, I'm going to use this beautiful peacock color, peacock green by Just Resin Pigment Paste. So I already have my resin mixed up. And now I'm going to add the um, glitter chip equilibrium. It's been a while since I've made a video. Been busy with my husband. Some of you may know that he is a quadriplegic and I care for him full time. Um, about four years ago, he broke his femur just sitting up doing his regular routine. And um, shortly after that, I resigned from teaching. I taught for 16 years and I taught one year in college. And um, three years ago, so I started staying home with Key, um, I decided I needed something to do. And um, I found Sheely's um, bloom class. So I took her course and I've taken courses with Canela and so many others, so many others. And now that I've started doing workshops in my home. So last month and this month, I did workshops for um, wine glass, making wine glasses and jewelry. I did a Dutch pour course and I did a bloom class and they were all very successful and um, people are asking me to do more. So I believe I'm going to try to get some more in in um, see, September and October, maybe August. I'm going to be traveling this week. Probably in the day you're seeing this, Saturday, I'm going to be off to Dublin to take a workshop with um, Fluid Art Boutique and um, learn some new techniques and then um, have a cruise in July. So my workshop schedule will be coming out shortly. If you want to be on my workshop list, email me at honeybee fluid art at gmail.com and I'll send you my workshop schedule. All right, this is just about all the way mixed up. Like I said, I hadn't seen anybody um, fill these bubble molds in on the edges with glitter, so I thought I would try. And look how beautiful that is. So pretty. So it's nice and thick. I didn't um, run my resin through the um, debubbler because of all this glitter I'm gonna put in. So um, I measured, it takes about an ounce and a half um, to fill these molds. We'll see since I've put in all this glitter. I think these are gonna turn out really nice. I said I don't want to get it in the center. I just want to do it on the edge. I've been testing resin outside in Texas. I'm in Magnolia, Texas, just outside of Houston. And um, I've been putting pieces in my pool. And I have made some resin um, little pot holders, like for um, cactus. And everything's holding up really well in this heat. Everything's doing really fine. I was quite surprised. The ones in the pool are absolutely beautiful. Love it. So I'm gonna get these up a little bit higher. Then I'm gonna turn the heat mat on and I'll let them sit in here for about two hours. And then I'm gonna come back and then I will top it with the peacock green. Thank you. 
It's so pretty. I'm gonna get this cleaned up, turn on my heat mat, and I'll come back when I put the peacock green on. Okay, it's been two hours and I have the Just Resin Pigment Paste Peacock Green from their Ocean Series. I'm gonna give this a bit of a stir. I'm gonna mix this really good. You don't want granules being stuck in there. It just will not disperse in the resin correctly if you do not. You can tell it was first at dark and now it's getting more of that peacocky emerald green going there. I forgot to measure how much to weigh how much water I would put in I mean how much resin I would put in the rest of the mold so I made up about three ounces for each side so six ounces total I did three ounces 1.5 for each sides of the bubble part so if I have a little extra then I will just go ahead and make some little extra things you won't need a lot I'm just going to take what's on my um, tongue depressor there and I'm just going to give this a swirl in here and mix that up. I'm using Let's Resin Epoxy Resin. It's me a nice, good, long working time. Oh, that's pretty. I don't mind if it's too see-through. I don't need it to be totally opaque. I might need it more opaque than this, so <laughs> that's not quite enough. Let me get this stirred up a little bit more and see what we're working with here. These seem to have cured up really nicely. They're not quite finished, but um, they are firm enough for me to go ahead and put the rest of the resin on. So let me add some more. I give this really mixed up it can settle at the bottom so you want to make sure you scrape the sides and the bottoms very well so add a little bit more that's much better So pretty. Do a little spritz of alcohol before I put this down on here. We'll see what that looks like tomorrow. It's my next day. I used a total of eight ounces, three ounces for the outside of the bubbles and five ounces for the center. So let's see how these turned out. I like how the peacock green looks on the back and here we have the center and oh well, god this is beautiful i'm loving it i don't have to do any trimming on it there's the second one i used let's resin epoxy resin i'll link all of the products in my description so pretty I'll do some pictures of what I'm going to um, put on these and um, be sure to check out my affiliate links for Glitter Chimps and um, make sure you um, check out the Rakuten link that has um, all kinds of different stores you can shop. You will get cash back. Use my affiliate link and I would appreciate it. Thanks so much for buzzing by and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.